boo, 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 that my great, 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 great grandma could have done herself. You look like a mushroom. Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're all doing really well. So today I'm just gonna be playing a bit with makeup and you know, telling a bit of a story, you know, you know, sharing my experience for your entertainment basically. I've had a few hiccups along the way with my hair, you see. But yeah, I thought it would be a fun video just to like tell you guys about it because your girl has suffered, okay? I created this look as well, I tried some new color pop bits. Today's personification shout is gonna go to Fortunada Hope. Thank you so much for hitting the bell button. I really appreciate it and if you guys want to get a post notification shout out um all you have to do is subscribe press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below when you've done so so yeah guys if you want to see how i got this look and you want to hear you know a little a little story time then just keep on watching all right guys so i've already done my brows and i've actually really been liking the soap brows um that i got recently love this stuff i actually really like it Okay, I've already prepped my eyes. And the palette I'm gonna to use today is the new ColourPop Limoncello. I think that's how you say it, palette. Um, and it's so stunning. When I saw this palette, it just really got me like wanting to be all creative and stuff. So I'm first gonna take the shade La Festa and I'm just gonna put this. Honestly, ColourPop shadows are so pigmented. I'm then gonna take the shade Semi Fredo, which is this shade right here. I'm just gonna put that on the, just on, on the edge of the blue to help it blend out. Ooh, this is so pretty. Wow. Amalfi, I don't know how to say it, but it's this bright yellow mustardy shade. Do you guys remember when I was obsessed with everything mustard? Like I would wear mustard nails, mustard t-shirts, mustard eyeshadow, but this is so pigmented, wow. So onto my story time. One day I was in Central, I was just taking care of like uh, some like paperwork stuff that I needed to do. And on the same day I was going to uh, go get my hair dyed black back from blonde to black. And I was going to go see Troy. And by the way, shout out to Troy because he did that to my hair and I haven't had anyone bless my hair like he did. Like no one's ever done such a good job when it came to lighten lightening my hair. So I literally recommend him to everyone. So yeah, I was on my way to go see him and my hair was like really long at the time. And obviously I didn't want him to dye my the whole length of my hair when I knew I wanted to cut some of it off. And so I basically finished my paperwork stuff and I was in South Kensington, I think. And I said to myself, okay, do you know what? I'm gonna stop by a hairdresser nearby and just ask for a quick dry trim with no wash no blow dried i just want you know just brush my hair cut a straight line basically oh my god i need lip balm so i find this hairdresser nearby and i search up like the prices on their website and i see like 35 pounds 30 quid like for trim i don't know i just did a really quick research on like on the go and i was like hey do you know what i want to go in i go in and i'm like can i have just a quick cut like a straight cut of my hair no wash no blow dry nothing they're like sure like come on in like it was quite fancy the guy takes me in sits me down is like do you want to your coffee i was like no thank you i already had my drink i'm gonna use my kat von d tattoo liner in the shade brown yeah i'm in the salon he's doing a quick you know cut even though it took a bit longer than i thought because you know a quick cut a straight cut shouldn't take that long right and bear in mind when i went in i didn't ask oh how much is it going to be i was like they were like, I was like, do you have any appointments available? And they're like, sure, come in. I didn't ask how much it would be. Okay. Why didn't I ask? Like, who did I think I was, you know? And do you know what's so funny? As he was cutting my hair, he was like, at, towards the end, he goes, oh, I'm going to charge you a little less because obviously you didn't have the dry and and the wash. Like, you know, I'm going to charge you a bit less. And I was like, oh, great. That's so kind of you. Thank you. Me thinking it's going to be like now 15 pounds or something like for a quick trim, right? No. Boo, boo, boo. I go to the till and he's waiting at the door, you know, to walk me out and I'm ready to pay. I'm just standing there and the lady goes, right, that, so that's uh, 60 pounds. Ah! Say what? Say that again. Sorry, what? He goes, 60 pounds. I was like, six zero. And she goes, yes. And your girl paid the 60 pounds. I felt so awkward because there was people and he was standing right there. But guys, 60 pounds for a just straight trim 
that my great 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 grandma could have done herself. 60 pounds, six zero, that is a joke. I'm loving this eyeshadow. But yeah, that's an experience I will never ever ever forget. Using my Benefit Magnet Mascara, I have been loving this like crazy. Like, like when I discover a new really nice mascara that I like, I forget all about all my other favorites until this one becomes all dried out because my Huda Beauty Legit Lashes is all dried out. So I've just moved on to like buy another one. It's so good, but I'm gonna put lashes today. I'm gonna use these eye oil lashes. They're called I Love This. Let me know in the comments what you would do. Like, would you have just asked from the beginning? <laughs> I thought I was some celebrity or something just walking in. Yeah, fine, I don't care. I'm mean, charge me 500 pounds. I just wouldn't care. But yeah, let me know what you had done at the end. Like, would you have paid for it or would you just walked out? Because I remember telling some people and they're like, why didn't you just walk out? Because 60 pounds is a joke, especially because it didn't take that, that long. And it was a straight trim. Like, you didn't do anything special, people. Oh, these lashes are pretty. Oh, look at the difference. That glued on so easily, too. Guys, I'm so obsessed with my nails. Like, I love them so much. How pretty. They're a bit different, but I'm, I really like them. I'm trying to grow them out a bit. Okay, now onto my skin. I'm going to use some of this Skin Proud Bright Boost Vitamin C Serum. I've thoroughly been enjoying um, using this skincare. I've been using it for like, I think two weeks now, just almost two weeks. And it's really nice. Just bear in mind, I do use a lot of like different skincare, but like this is something I would actually go out and, you know, repurchase. It's just so nice. I'm also gonna use this Bright Eye Gel Cream. Guys, that's not my only, my only hair salon nightmare i'm gonna sh tell you my my worst one to date and i think i was around 15. i'm gonna use this everything balm by skin proud as well i've been using this as a lip balm or even highlight and even on my cuticles oh my god i feel so much better i'm gonna use some of my fenty skin moisturizer these spots are so painful. I'm gonna be using my Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tint in the shade 14, been loving this stuff. So yeah, when I was 16, I asked, I literally begged my mum to let me go to the hairdresser because obviously she was paying. <laughs> um, I begged her and I begged her because I saw a, like one of my you know ex-friends. Uh, she did like a curly perm and it looked so nice, it looked like it looked kind of wavy and just like natural hair curls and you know i have dead straight hair and it's funny how we always want what we don't have like, sometimes i have curly uh haired girls come up to me and say like i wish i had your straight hair and stuff and then i'll be like well, wait i i want your hair like i want curly hair so yeah this was a perm that was gonna like permanently curl it basically so i begged my mum and it cost a lot it was like 80 euros at the time which you know was is a lot you know heck i ain't paying 80 dollars for my daughter to go to the hairdress <laughs> what concealer should i wear i'm just gonna go for my tight shape too because it's balm my mum ends up booking me the appointment and i literally spent the whole day literally literally the whole day doing it, it takes so long the chemicals smell so strong. I didn't realize what I was doing to my hair, guys, but they basically put these really strong chemicals and she used really small tubes. They weren't even big. They weren't even this big. They were like this small. So the curls that were going to be reproduced were like very tight, almost frizzy curls. Anyways, I was so excited. I was so happy. Like, I was really excited for the result. I remember the feeling. Like, I was so happy I was getting my, my perm curls, you know. And I will never forget the smell. It smells so strong. I'm going to use some of my Huda Beauty Tantor in shade medium. And I feel like the lady didn't know what she was doing either. She's so annoying. But I went to the hairdresser that my friend went to and um, yeah, literally finish, she finishes my hair and I literally come out with fried hair. Like I don't, I wish I had photos from back then, but I literally don't have any photos from that phase of my life. <laughs> but I kid you not, I was even with my 
boyfriend now husband at the time and I went home and he was there and he looked at me and he was like the hell did you do like what did you do to your hair guys it was so ugly it was literally fried haystack hair they ruined my hair and I remember I walked out of the hair salon it was so big and frizzy and poofy like I remember walking out and just tying my hair up like in a bun like who ties their hair up in a bun after coming out of a hair salon normally you should be like blowing it in the wind like you know serving looks no your girl was hiding it I knew I knew that it was done so badly but yeah I was just so embarrassed to my core and they ruined my hair and it took like three years to grow out to the point where like my straight hair was growing and you would see a line where the perm was was start was starting so like I grew the straight hair up to here and then I cut the rest off and I remember I had a bob and the bob would looked so awful on me as well. I came home, my sister was like, what the hell? You look like a mushroom. And I have a very peculiar face, you know? I, uh, not every look goes on me. I'm gonna set this face with some Laura Mercier powder. I got this Colourpop blush stick and this is in the shade Picnic Time. It's like this beautiful bright peach. I'm just going to use my foundation brush to just blend that in. That's given a really cute highlight too. Look at that. I love these kind of products. And the worst thing was that when I had that perm and when my hair was wet, you could literally, like my hair was stringy. That's when you know your hair is dead. Like there's no way out. There's no saving it. It was dead as hell. And like that was the worst hair experience i've had in my entire life like she literally ruined butchered my hair i'm gonna use the vieve modern lip definer in the shade bark love this stuff and then finally i'm gonna use the colourpop luxe gloss this is just a clear gloss in and it's called italian ice it's even got specks of like sparkle in it, it looks so pretty oh my god gloss is lush put a little mascara my lower lashes all right guys this is the final look i really hope you enjoyed this quick little you know play around with makeup and you know story time video let me know if you want to see more uh, like this and give this video a thumbs up i have definitely had to uh, you know suffered with my hair you know but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye